back to another watch review. Once again, you're not seeing double. Uh, this is a watch I've already reviewed months back, one of my first watches. This is essentially kind of an update, but also um, a part two, I guess. A little bit more information, just uh, specs on the watch itself and how I've been enjoying it the last couple months and stuff like that. Uh, I will leave the first or the original video in the description. But, yep, anyway, let's move right into the review. Um, basic information, brand is Courgette. Uh, for you French people, uh, I should let me know what that means. Without me having to do a Google search, I am curious what that means and if any of y'all know. Uh, model uh, 3021A-SL4. SSB. Uh, this is inspired by the Omega Seamaster Railmaster uh, movement. This specific watch that you're looking at right now has a Miota 8215. The style is casual. Water resistance is 5 bar, aka 50 meters. Case dimensions width, uh, case width is 41 millimeters. The width, uh, including the crown, is 43.6 millimeters. The thickness is 11.5 millimeters. And lug to lug is 47 millimeters. All right, let's get on to the bracelet info. Band width is 20 millimeters. Bracelet length is 22 centimeters. Uh, clasp, it's a butterfly clasp. Style is a three link brushed uh, material 316L stainless steel. And let's get to dial info. The display is analog. As far as logos, uh, there is a Courgette brand logo on it. And then there's 164 feet. 50 meters and self winding. So, these are all the text on the dial. Shape round. The front crystal is a sapphire. The case back is a mineral. It's an exhibition clear case back. So you can see the movement. It's pretty cool. Material is 316L stainless steel. Marker type, uh, they're arrow markers. Crown. It is a screw down crown. Um, and the colors, as far as the dial options, we've got a white dial and a blue dial available as well. And uh, I can also link the product listing on AliExpress. That way you can see all the uh, options. Oh, and real quick, um, pertaining the strap info, you do have a few options I forgot to mention. You've got a blue and black canvas option and you have a brown leather option so there you go all right movement uh, manufacturer is Myota or citizen country is Japan type automatic model 82 15 hacking no hacking jewels 21 jewels power reserve 42 hours and accuracy Minus 20 plus 40 seconds per day. Uh, BPH or beats per hour, 21,600 BPH or three hertz. Thickness 5.67 millimeters and the diameter is 26 millimeters. And as far as options go, since the last time I did the review, the Seiko NH35A was not an option, but that is now an option according to the current listing. So you have three options. You have the Myota, which you see here, you have the Seagull, and you have the NH35. Uh, now, I know people don't like the Myota, or at least uh, this one and a few other entry-level ones because it's kind of noisy. Uh, some of my watches that have Myota movements are kind of noisy, and some aren't, so I don't know, kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I mostly have 8215s. 
Uh, now, Seagull is going to be the cheapest option, but many will say that they'd probably prefer the Seagull over the Myota. So the Myota is kind of the middle of the road as far as the three movement options. And obviously, the Seiko NA35, there's almost like a cult moment for that. People love that movement. And I have a few watches with that movement, and I like that movement as well. So uh, I think. Either way you slice it, I think uh, you'll get a good watch uh, movement, especially for the price. Uh, I bought this watch a few months back. Uh, I believe it was about $85 or $90, somewhere in that uh, ballpark. I know it was under $100. As far as, uh, I guess, the few month update, well, I guess as far as the update on wearing this watch for the last couple months since my first review, I will say I do like it. I don't wear it as often as some of my other watches. Uh, I thought I was going to like this watch a little more because the dials, you know, are very reminiscent of the Seamaster 300M dial. Uh, obviously, there are some nuances. It's not the exact same, but it just kind of has the general aesthetics about it in my opinion kind of reminds me of that uh, other model or the dial but yeah i may put a strap on this for some reason i just don't think it comes to life with this stainless steel bracelet this is my opinion guys so you know uh chill out <laughs> apparently uh, opinions are you know not valid these days but my opinion i think like a a brown NATO strap, like a leather strap, kind of like with the 1010 homage that I have. When that came with a stainless steel bracelet and I put that NATO leather strap, to me, it was like a night and day difference as far as it's more versatile, it just looks a little bit more intriguing. That's my opinion though. Um, actually, you know what? I take it back. Well, I don't really take it back. I think a brown leather NATO will look good, or a black, but I also think with this, that's what I was saying about 300M, I think a, like a two-tone uh, seatbelt nylon or, you know, canvas NATO strap will look good. So like the strap that you see on the, uh, the James Bond 300 Seamaster, that will look good, or anything that's kind of similar to that color pattern. But yeah, I think a NATO canvas strap would also look good as well. I just think any NATO strap will look good, regardless of the material. It's my opinion. Maybe I'll throw that on uh, one day and maybe take some shots on it and uh, let y'all see what that looks like. But that's my opinion, though. Like always, like, comment, share, subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Yeah.